friends, welcome back to another episode of Two Idiot Girls. Ooh. Um, welcome back to the pod, you guys. Hello. We have seen an <clears throat> overwhelming amount of support and love for our sweet Donnie Dumps. Yeah, I honestly feel like you guys get sick of us since you're so keen and excited when there's new people. Yeah, you guys said you don't care when there's guests, but it seems Kinda like you seems like you do. do. So I don't know, something to think about. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. I know. Oh, someone did say, "Why did you pick the name Donnie Dumps?" We didn't tell them why. Oh, we picked Donnie Dumps because it's funny. Well, yeah. Um, alliteration uh, and also because for like I think since Donovan was like six <laughs> since Donovan was younger like like when he started getting older did you he, just help yourself to my chopstick when you sat down uh, no I put on my own okay I was just thank wondering. you very much roll the tape did you guys see me use her chopstick I no. didn't think so it was probably before we started rolling I literally have Laneige lip scrub on my lip scrub. Yeah, you can use it as a gloss too. It's not a scrub; it's a mask. Oh yeah, whatever. Okay. <laughs> the lip scrub police. You're gonna be stupid. Do it somewhere else, okay? I anyway, so I didn't realize. <laughs> I didn't realize you had such an affinity towards them. Anyways, uh, for a long time, like Donovan, um, before his birthday, he would ask like. What are we going to do for my birthday? Or can we talk about what I want to do for my birthday? Like stuff like that. And Jason would be like, I know what I'm going to do for your birthday. And he'd be like, what? And she's like, I'm going to take you to the dump. (laughs) (laughs) And he would get mad every single time. Yeah. And it's like, it's literally like what you think. Like she just wants to drive him over there (laughs) and like have him gaze at the scenery and then bring him home. Yeah, it's funny. She said that for literally years. Like for so she still does it to this day, but like And he still gets mad like I'm going to actually He do just it, never so. sees it coming. Yeah. For whatever reason, he never sees it coming. <laughs> <laughs> so she would say that all the time and then uh we just like came up with Donnie Dumps like and then we said like Donnie Dumps yeah. to be like funny. <laughs> You know, inflection, all of that. (laughs) One time for his birthday, I think this was when his birthday was during lockdown. And we made Mm -hmm. like a sign in the house that like spelled out his name. Oh, yeah. And I made sure to put dumps at the end of it because it was funny. Yeah. And then Drew, we always surprised ourselves or each other with uh, Starbucks in the morning. We've done that since we were babies. Yeah, we always my mom do a very me, specific. Like on my first birthday, my mom woke me up with an ice cold Americano and said, happy birthday. There you go. But um, no, we woke up Donnie. We were waiting for him. So Drew got the coffee that morning. Yeah. And we like decorated the house and yeah. stuff. So like when he woke up and came outside, there's like decorations everywhere. We've done that. My mom has done that for us since we were kids. And now like that we're adults, we do it all the, th- all the time for each other. Yeah. Um, even like for Billy's birthday, I like bought decorations and I decorated our dining room for him and like put a bunch of balloons and mm-hmm. stuff. Like it's just really fun. It makes you feel special. So we do it every year for each other's birthdays. And uh, I had woken up really early. I stayed up late the night before like rapping and stuff. So did Billy. And then we were both like half awake getting coffee in the morning and we're walking in the house and we have like, I've, I've, you know, there's six of us. So like I'm carrying like six Coffees, drinks yeah. and like pastries, pastries and, stuff. and stuff. And as we're walking in, Billy's like looking around. He's like, oh, the decorations look great. And he was like, huh, that's funny. Like reading the sign. And he was like, Donnie dumps. And then he dropped on him and drink on the ground. <laughs> Smashed to pieces on the ground. <laughs> Exploded everywhere. And then I was so mad. I drove to Starbucks by myself to go get it again. (laughs) I was like, he was like, I'll go. And I was like, just forget it. And I like, Donnie Dumps. Winks. Yeah. And then he was like, oh no. No, he's like, Donnie Dumps. And then went, and just exploded all over the ground. (laughs) And I was like, I'm not fucking. I'm like, he's like, I'll go get it. And I'm like, oh, so I can clean the mess. (laughs) You clean this mess. I'll go get the coffee. Mm. Then I had to drive back to the same Starbucks and buy it again. So, but. Anyways, that's another reason we like say it in a funny tone. Yeah. 
but that's where we got it from. I actually, uh, his phone, his name in my phone is Donnie Dingleberry. Yeah. And every time people see that, they laugh really hard and they're mm-hmm. like, why the fuck is that his name? Well, first of all, we call him Donnie. And honestly, my mom hates the nickname Donnie. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why she just like, cause I think it's cause she likes his name, Donovan. Yeah. But we literally call him Donnie because it would annoy her. And that's why we <laughs> call him Donnie. When it's funny. When sometimes he's just a Donnie. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like the way he, he gives acts. off really bad Donnie energy. He's like yeah. such a Donnie. It's yeah. crazy. Uh, and people were saying he's your doppelganger if you were a boy. What that's you, really, what do you really have to say mean? about that? That's extremely one mean. of the meanest things you can say to a woman. I truly believe this is you look so much like your dad. Yeah. I don't want to. I love my dad. He's handsome. I don't want to look like him as him. He's handsome. Yeah. <laughs> like I well, everyone. And to be fair, everybody says that about me. Yeah. Like when they see Donovan and honest to God, if Dason was darker, like if she had tanner skin, mm-hmm. they would. I think they would correlate more yeah if you guys follow us on instagram you would have seen that i got one of the worst sunburns i've ever had on my nose in hawaii and it was so bad i had it to- was <laughs> she kept complaining about it the first couple of days and i was like uh i think you're being um a baby like i think you're fine yeah and then when i saw it on like day three i was like holy shit dude like, like beet red it, like the color of your shirt like, right now. Yeah, but it like turned like brown. Like it looked like <laughs> I know. Like I had a nose, a cast. It on looked my like nose. she had a cast on her I nose. Know. Like it, it looked painful. I, I literally, I saw it and I was like, "Oh my god, your mm. nose is so sunburned." And she goes, "I know, dude." I just saw this girl. She said she, her lips got super sunburned. She's in Cabo. <gasps> That's happened to from, me because she was wearing Aquaphor. And remember, I told you, I don't know. I think my lips got sunburned because I was wearing nothing but Aquaphor. In uh, Hawaii. So. I was wearing Summer Fridays and Summer Fridays only. Someone was like, you just barbecued your lips. That's what I saw in the <laughs> comments. Because there's Aquaphor with SPF in it, but then it looks like I put white paste on my lips and I'm not going to do that. Yeah. So I wish I'd known that. I would have You look like that meme it. of that grandpa that ate paint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's white. That's what squid looks like to me because that guy kind of has his eyes. That's mean. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> When you, my, I, in Hawaii, I had to buy a fucking hat and wear it every day. That's why I didn't get as tan as everyone. Yeah, Dayson was... Because I had to wear a hat. I honestly think it's because I'm, I'm not as tan as everyone naturally. But yeah. I also think, too, I've been on so many different types of acne medications <laughs> that I think the thickness of my skin is no longer... Ex- no I longer actually exists. said that when we were in Hawaii. Yeah, I, was I like, told you, I was like, I think the layers of your skin have been stripped off. Yeah, the amount of Accutane I've been on... And she's naturally, she's the palest. Yeah. Like in our family, like my dad and my brother are like the darkest, Mm -hmm. like they're the tannest for sure. I'm a close second behind the two of them. And then my mom is like, she's lighter, like a lot lighter than me, but she's probably like about the same as days, maybe a little bit tanner. No, not even. I think I'm darker than her. Yeah, I agree. Actually, I think she's the same. But I get sunburned and she doesn't. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I, it's probably the medication. Oh, see, yeah, yeah. Um, because and but my mom even said like she was like when Dayson was a baby, she was like my palest baby. She's like I always had to have her <laughs> covered up in the sun because she would burn so easily. Like one year we went camping, guys, while I was on Accutane, and I had to wear the biggest hat you've ever seen. <laughs> Because if you've been on Accutane or any sort of acne medication, it does like thin out the layers of your skin. Yeah, it does. So you're yeah. more prone to getting um, not only sunburned, but sunsick. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys have seen Modern <laughs> Family, that episode where they go to the lake and you look at Cam, look it up. Like, just look at what he looked like. That's how Jason had to look <laughs> that camping trip. <laughs> she was that when his it gets stuck his caftan yeah, gets stuck he has in like the, a white caftan a white hat and then he leaves white sunblock on his face yeah. and then he has big black sunglasses yeah that's me when that's when we're in the sun sit in the sun not good <laughs> she gets fried bro like you would have thought i rubbed like bacon grease on my nose and then walked outside it was no so like bad. genuinely it was pretty bad yeah. <laughs> it was pretty fucking bad uh and this is not a flex or a good thing by any means, but like I didn't wear sunblock for years. Like when I was in Hawaii, um, not because I was like, uh, uh, like sunblock doesn't work. You know, how some people say that no, shit. You're too poor to buy sunscreen. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That. And I also, sunblock was a luxury. <laughs> and I was also like, 
I'm probably a fine. Like, I just really wanted to go but to the when beach. When you're a little, our mom is like, like really like knocked it in her heads that we have to wear sunscreen anytime we go outside. I know. And I and, never did in Hawaii. We were, well, not in the beginning. Yeah. But when we were little, we'd go to like parties just with the two of us. So like friends parties, we would be yeah. the only kids putting sunscreen putting on each on other's sunscreen. backs. Before we go in the pool. And then Drew would be like, wait, I have to put more on your back. I don't think I put enough because she knows that I get burned. Or like, you know, when Chucky gets, um, the chicken pox and yeah. they lather the calamine lotion on his body. That's what my body looks like when I put sunscreen on. That's bad. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty bad. Um, what were we even talking about? I don't remember. Oh shit. Oh well. Oh yeah, you guys being mean and saying that Donovan's my twin. Oh yeah, sorry. Go um, back. There you go. That's, <laughs> that's what we were talking about. Uh I get that a lot, like that he looks exactly like me. And what I was saying was if Dason was the same hue as us, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think she would look more like us. But that's not to say we don't look alike because me and Dason do look like like we have very similar faces. I don't faces. think we look alike at all. Even Adam said that to me. We definitely look alike. Like we look like siblings. I think me and Donovan look more alike. Yeah. But you and I for sure look alike. And like you do a- look like Donovan, but like. Yeah. It's just like, I just don't know how people find my TikTok and they go, are you Drew's sister? I think that's, or I thought this was Drew. I don't think we look that much alike that I would, that I would mistake you when I look at me. Cause no one ever says that when they see you. They only say that when they see me. Ah, no, that's right. It's probably for other reasons. <laughs> you know, you know. That they don't think that. <laughs> hey, I have some fans that found you through me. Not come on. Maybe, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe they want to kiss you. Probably. <laughs> just kidding <laughs> um yeah i don't know what well, do you have the sniffles over there what's going on i do kind of have the sniffles i'm trying not to do it in the mic no i know i'm just wondering what happened to you well i'm getting over a cold so there's that <laughs> <laughs> thanks for asking me if i'm okay by the way <laughs> i don't give a fuck if you're okay yeah clearly clearly that was made clear to me i think that I, that's why I said like I it just depends like some people see us and they're like you guys look like twins I don't think that at all well body type alone we don't look alike no, at no, all no we literally are built like twins I am Danny DeVito <laughs> <laughs> the movie twins yeah yeah like I'm just like I'm literally six inches taller than Dace like I'm a lot taller no, I'm a lot bigger than yeah. her uh, so like when they see us in person that makes even less sense maybe if you had dark hair you would look like me Maybe I'll do that for Halloween. One of my costumes will be you. Nah. I want to be squid for Halloween. <laughs> and just eat shit off the ground. Yeah, everything you see on the ground that's not furniture, put it in your mouth. Okay. That's squid's... That's his mantra. Uh, that's food. That's his mantra. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's not. Everything is food except for furniture. This is also food. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anywho, I'm glad you guys are liking the ep mm-hmm. with uh, Donnie. Donnie. Oh, I didn't explain why I called him Donnie Dingleberry. Oh, because it's Um, funny? Well, yeah, obviously. But where it came from was literally, I think it was in lockdown two for his birthday. He said he really wanted um, seeds to learn how to grow stuff. Oh, yeah. And so I got him a berry kit, like, to learn how to grow berries. Um, He didn't. But he didn't use it, I don't think. No. uh, Literally at all. So that's nice. But he did ask for that. So I got it for him. And then... He was like, oh, maybe I can start a business like, like selling can- berries. At a yeah, he's like, market. maybe I could sell berries or something. And then <laughs> Do- and then Billy actually said, yeah, you could call it Donnie's Dingleberries, <laughs> 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 which was so fucking funny. And that's why his name is Donnie Dingleberry in my phone. Mm-hmm. And I have the most hilarious picture of him. Oh, yeah. I know. Is yours the fedora? No. What's yours? It's when he. <laughs> I took this video of him when we were like in a dick sporting goods i think when i was in college yeah because i was i was still at school wait like i was in college or, or just you no i was also in college no no, no i'm saying sorry i was living at school like yeah. I was in the summer oh you weren't there mm-hmm. is what you're saying yeah um so me my parents and donovan we went to dick sporting goods and we were looking at stuff and uh i think we had just left church like we we had gone to a church function like a family function at church and uh, Donovan had this like polo and jeans and like slippers. And one thing about Donovan is he's going to touch things in the store. Like he's going to pick You're things up. You're the same up. way. I, true. But when he was little, he's like unchecked too, like me. Yeah. But he'll wander and he'll. Like, do you guys remember in the grocery store when they had those coupon things? Like, 
Oh yeah, in, in the, the middle of the aisles. Yeah, Drew would stand at it and pull every single one that came out of there. <laughs> <laughs> With then, no supervision, I'm going crazy. Then once one was done, she'd move on to the next one. With no supervision, and she'd just keep pulling them. I'm pulling them, bitches. It's like an elf when he keeps walking for, to the same two guys to get programs from them or whatever they're giving out. Thank up. you. <laughs> Thank you. Go, get out of here. I just like couldn't stop pulling them. Like I just had, to, if there's buttons or switches, I'm touching them. But Donovan will like pick things up and like bang them together. Like he would do that when he was sure, a kid. Yeah. So he had these two, they're like wooden stakes and they had big wooden balls on them. And he put sunglasses on that are not his. They were just on display. They were like these big pit vipers. And he put those on. <laughs> and then he had these two wooden things with balls on the they end. They look like kendamas. Yeah, yeah, but the ball is stuck on there. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck it's for. It's I a think shoehorn. It's, it's not a shoehorn. I know I'm just being silly. <laughs> <laughs> but he's holding them and then he's literally like banging them on top of each other. So it's going dung, 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 dung. And he's just doing that. And my mom's trying to like pick like baseball gloves or something. And her and my dad are looking. And then I was just recording him doing it. Like he's just going. He's not even doing it to like make anyone laugh. He's no, just because he he's, thinks it's fun. He's just doing it. <laughs> and then he's going like this. He's going like with a blank stare on his face. And he has the sunglasses on. And I was just recording him doing because I was like, why? And I was recording him and I was zooming in on his face. Well, he was looking at the thing, like doing it. And then my mom goes, Donovan. And then he goes, and then that's the picture. That's his picture on my phone. <laughs> it's literally, I'm going to pull it up. I'm literally gonna. How do you look at people's contact cards? Do you just like look at it in your contacts? I'm assuming mine's a picture of him that like a mom took of him at like a. It was like at a like a team football event. Like he played like <laughs> junior pee wee football or whatever. Wait, Can on. you touch the photo and make it big? No, I can't. Oh, okay. Hold on. And anyways, this is a picture of him off guard, and it looks really funny. I'll send this pic to <laughs> To put uh, in the edit. Yeah. I'm trying to like... But yeah, Donnie Dumps has always really walked to the beat of his own drum. I'll give him that. Let me tell you something. Like, nothing on this earth could ever shake that man's confidence. Here's a great example. So I come home from college and it's winter break and my brother is doing acting classes. Because my mom thought... Because he, he enjoyed them. <laughs> it's perfect. I showed them. I'm going to put a picture of it right here. You, can see it, you yeah? just see the word ding underneath it. <laughs> word ding over. Wait, so I come home from for winter break and my brother's in acting classes. So he takes me to his, like all of us went to go watch him. That's right. Yeah. And on the way there, my mom asked him, do you have any, did you have any homework you're supposed to do? And he was like, no. And he was like, she was like, okay. Then when we get there, he walks up and they're all in a circle. He's like, what? Maybe nine. Uh, if yeah, that, yeah, I would like say nine or ten, that, yeah. And he's standing there, and they go, um, "Okay, guys." So everyone had to prepare a character today to share the <laughs> class. So let's see it. And Donovan just made one up on the spot. Yeah. And then I thought he he had prepared that, so I asked him afterwards, "Did you make that up, or did you have that ready?" He goes, "I made it up on the spot. I forgot we had homework." He's like, "Oh no, <laughs> prepared? No, no, that's not my middle name." Oh, you're asking me if I did what I was supposed to do for the class? No, 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 I did not. No, I wasn't <laughs> listening when she said we had homework. So. Yeah, that's that's also probably true. And then you know where we ate after that class? Red Robin. Period. A family class. Red Robin gourmet burgers and fries. <laughs> you know what's funny? <laughs> you know what I just thought of too? What? Wait, fuck, I forgot. Red Robin gourmet burgers and brews. Burgers, brews, and fries. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, fuck, we were just talking about Donovan. Red Robin. No, him creating a character. Tall Tower of Onion Rings. <laughs> No, it was about Donovan. Donnie Dumps. Damn, I can't remember. Okay. It was something really funny, though. He's just always been a little character, that guy. Doesn't give a fuck what anyone thinks about him. No, not at all. No. Not even a little. No. Like, not like like not even remotely. Like, he doesn't give a shit. Like, he doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't care at all. Um, Like, when he was playing football, like, before he got to high school, he would he would say things like, He'd be like, yeah, nah, because my mom would be like, oh, do you want to hang out? Like, do you want to hang out with friends or anything? He's like, nah. And then he would tell us, like, he doesn't talk to anyone. And we were yeah. like, what? Like, uh, when he was young. And then when they were leaving name, he knew, like, a lot of things about him. Mm -hmm. And he goes, I don't know. I think his name is this, but I can't remember. And it's literally just because, like, he, he doesn't, doesn't care. He doesn't care. <laughs> Not necessarily about people. Like, he no. cares about people. But, like. 
he's not concerned with like fitting in like at all. And that's not to say he doesn't have friends, but he's just never been someone who like strived for popularity in the sense that he was like, I have to be the coolest person in school. I have to hang out the shit. He doesn't fucking care, which like gravitates people towards him because Mm -hmm. he like genuinely doesn't give a shit. (laughs) Like he doesn't care. Yeah. And so they're like, he's like, Oh, that's my friend. We talk a lot. And I'm like, really? He goes, yeah. And then we're like, Oh, do you want to hang out with him? Nah, it's okay. I'm like, okay, okay, work, bitch. That's like, I told you guys when I really started blowing up on TikTok, he told me like, we've never told him this. This is funny. Oh yeah. So he told me, (laughs) I might've mentioned it on my other show, but he, he had told me that a girl in his class had brought up TikTok to him. I was like, oh really? He goes, yeah, she was just telling me like how much she likes it and stuff. And I was like, oh, my sister has a TikTok account. And she goes, really? He goes, yeah, I'm pretty sure she has a lot of followers, but like, I, I don't remember how many. And then she goes, oh, what's her, what's her name? Like on there on like, what's her handle? And then he goes, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. And yeah. then I couldn't tell her cause and I didn't he, know your handle. Yeah. He's like, and then I like, couldn't let her look you up. Cause I'd like genuinely didn't know. And then I go, it's my first and last name. The last name that we share actually. And then he goes, well, how was I supposed to know that? <laughs> Well, fuck me. I don't know. I, why, you, you really got me. I genuinely don't know. Now, why would I know that? Yeah. He's saying. like, how, how was I supposed to know that? That's what he said to me with like a deadpan look on his face. Mm. Just like my grandpa. I don't need to see all that. My grandpa being like, yeah, I heard you have a TikTok. Your mom says doing well. And then he's like, yeah. He go, I go, yeah. He goes, yeah, I have a TikTok. I'm like, oh, really? He goes, yeah, I don't want you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, for sure. Uh, and I said, is there any particular reason why and then he goes i don't need to see all that whatever that means <laughs> what the fuck? you know what he did say though he goes that leo gonzalez though he can make me laugh yeah bitch <laughs> yeah bitch that leo let me tell you he when makes I, me laugh when i met leo i told him that i said even my fucking grandpa who doesn't follow anyone and barely knows how to work it he knows how to look you up apparently that's what he said your family told me before we started that they like me more he's than like, you <laughs> he's like no, don't tell him we don't want to hurt her feelings <laughs> I fucking love him. But that's like another, mm-hmm. my grandpa being like, ah, yeah. That's what, and I said, what do you mean all that? Like, what does that mean? And he was like, ah, yeah. And then uh, we never talked about it again. So, and he to this day still tells me he watches TikTok. He does not um, <laughs> watch me. So, he did say though that our uncle explained to him what you do. And so he has a good, better understanding. He, I think he thought you were dancing or something on there. I don't know what he thought. <laughs> I honestly don't know. <laughs> well, I told him that. I said, like, well, what do you... I mean, I'm not, like, doing anything, like, weird, if mm-hmm. that's what you think. And then he goes, still. <laughs> He's like, okay. Eh. eh. Okay. That's... F- Listen. Do with that what you want. Yeah, I can't argue with that. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> Donovan, too. Like, he, like, probably, like, a month ago, rem- like, found out what my handle is. Yeah. Like, he just doesn't... Not, it doesn't concern him. He's like, I don't need to know that. <laughs> it's what we call useless information. Yeah. I'm not going to do anything with it. So there's no point in telling me. <laughs> <laughs> but I just see some of you asking for his Twitch stream link. Once he has it up and running, you'll see it yes, on our we'll, Instagram. We'll uh, talk about it. Yeah. We'll post it or whatever. Once we get it. Got me a fresh DC. DP, actually, because they didn't have Diet Coke. So is it just Dr. Pepper? No, it's Diet Pepsi. Oh, Diet Pepsi. Mm-hmm. It's not as good, guys. It's not as great, but you know, a win is a win. It'll do. Can I have a sip? Mm-hmm. I just said that and then I'm like, can I have a sip? It's a little, the ice melts it a little bit, but it's still good. Here's a hot take. I think Diet Pepsi tastes good when the, when the ice melts in it. I think so too. I think it kind of takes it down a little bit. Diet Coke doesn't taste as good that way. No, but Diet Pepsi tastes does, better that way. Yeah. Probably more sugars in there. <laughs> Something. There's nothing in there. <laughs> That's sweet nectar. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. Okay, so we're doing a part two of funny sibling stories. Ish. The last few we read were honestly kind of a sleigh. They were pretty funny. Y'all killed me. We had a bunch of good ones. Y'all are in here. so funny. The re- we didn't do a part two of the vacation ones because the sibling ones were just so much funnier. Well, and also, like, we wanted to do one with Donnie. Yeah. So, like, we were like, well, let's just do a different prompt. Well, and most of the vacation ones were about poop. There was a lot of poop stories okay. in there. I poop so fast that I feel it, like, an hour before it's about to start. Jason literally, 
she'll shit in 20 seconds. Yeah. But sh- if she has to pee, I'm in there for a minute. Go ahead and take a seat. She'll be gone I'm for a while. I'm in there for a minute. It's I don't know bad. what the fuck she does in there when she pees, but she like, she takes like 30 minutes. Yeah. It, but she's like, I have to poop. And she'll go in there and she'll be gone for two and a half minutes and she'll be back. Yeah. Riddle me that. Like when, I don't we, when know. we went to Lizzo, me and Brittany went to the bathroom. Yeah. And it was crowded. So we shared a stall because we got the big one. Yeah. And I went pee first. And I told her, you should have went first, dude. It's going to take me a minute. I got to get all my pee out. She like gets like stage fright. I feel like. No, I just have a, I hold a lot of urine in my body. I don't know. I think it just comes out slow. No, there's just a lot of it. Everybody can pee a lot, but I'm, I'm talking about why does it take you 30 minutes? Cause there's a lot in there. Dude, no. Maybe my hole is too small. <laughs> Maybe. And there's a lot trying to come out. So it takes a minute. That's why I said your stream is just weak. Like, you know, when you were little and kids had water bottles and they would poke a hole in the top for a pencil? Yeah, I know. I think that's how small my hole is. And then I'm trying to squeeze out is all the it? pee. <laughs> just my pee hole. Both the other holes are too big. <laughs> is it? Just kidding. I, yeah. That's an Adam joke. I know. Adam would love that joke. Oh, really? <laughs> no. <laughs> Fucking no, bitch. that's like a joke. Like that's like it's like a a flex. That's what the joke was that I was making. Oh, I don't like when women say they have really tight holes. That's the joke. I know it's not the same hole that you peed up pee out of. I know, I'm not saying that. Joke. I'm telling you that was my joke. Yeah. No, he would have said you got a wide set vagina. Whiff. Is what he would have said. A big old whiff. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you apologizing? I don't know. <laughs> she was like. No, like, I'm like, <laughs> no, I understood the joke. Don't gaslight me into thinking I didn't understand. Did the you joke. guys think she understood the joke? <laughs> I did understand the joke. Sure, you did. Drew, uh, I'm not saying you don't get that joke. I'm saying you didn't understand it when I said it. That's what I'm fucking saying, bitch. I did. <laughs> sure. I believe you. I'm not an idiot. Who said that? I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Just kidding. We're doing a part two of funny sibling stories. Yes. Here we go. This first one's from Sid. She said, growing up, I was a really bad kid. And my brother was the goody two shoes. So when he got in trouble, he became the most dramatic kid on the planet. One day we got in trouble for not finishing our chores and we decided we were going to run away. So my mom <laughs> said, you can't take anything I bought you out of my house. <laughs> So the two of us literally made an entire outfit, including underwear, out of grocery bags and trash bags, grabbed our favorite toys, pictures and phones and a whole loaf of bread and walked down our street. We lived on a very busy main road. We came back, though. It was so hot and we weren't wearing shoes. (laughs) (laughs) You said your brother's dramatic, but you left, too. Yeah, that seemed like a team effort right there. I like how you stood in solidarity with him. Yeah, you're like, if he's going, I'm gone too. Your mom being like, okay, but you can't take anything I bought. And you're like, damn. And then you took toys. There's no way you bought those toys. <laughs> I would be like, uh. And your phone? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> I've done that. Yeah. Like, made it seem like I was going to run away. I've done that. Yeah. And I packed a bag. I remember it was a Roxy messenger bag. Like, it was Ooh, a big blue, the blue one. one. Yeah. Yeah. I put one blanket in there and that's it. Nothing else. I don't need anything else. Not even food. I'm a nomad. That's what you said. Yeah. And then I was a like, a woman on the go, crying in my room. And I was like, I packed my bag and tried to like put it like close to my bedroom door so my mom would see it. And she didn't. And then I like literally put it outside the door. She still didn't acknowledge it. And then I put it by the front door. And then she, well, no, then I put it by the side door. Like I was going to go out the side door, mm-hmm. like not the front door. Yeah. And then my mom got tired of me doing that. <laughs> like I literally would go outside and like push it and then go back and in. Email. <sighs> yeah. And I'd be like, like, mm-hmm. like crying in my room, but I wasn't even really crying. Cause I was like mad. Yeah. Right? And uh, then my mom was like, what's this? And I was like, I don't know. Like being, a what's little, it look like? Like being, <laughs> <laughs> like being a brat. Yeah. And then my mom was like, well, if you're going to leave, why would you go out the side door, go out the front door? And then she took it and put it <laughs> she's, then she's like go ahead what are you waiting for yeah and she's like why would you go out the side or just walk out the front and door and I remember I was crying telling you please don't go yeah and then I was like I need those theatrics from my mom and then I will stay <laughs> <laughs> and if I thought I was gonna get that bitch I'm crazy <laughs> so my mom said that well, I said alright you called my bluff I didn't want to like, 
like, all right. And then I started crying. You're like, you don't care. Yeah. yeah. And then no, I was like, I was just, I was just trying to like, I don't even know. Like I had like nothing to say mm-hmm. really. But my mom was like, uh, my mom was like, she's, I was like, you don't care if I run away. She's like, of course I care, but you don't care about us. You're just going to leave. You got me there. But that is not <laughs> but a that crime. Is crime. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that is not a crime. Uh, so yeah, nothing good ever comes out of that. You just, you look silly. I looked real silly. <laughs> it's true. It's true. And she came running back just like we knew she would. <laughs> Okay, this next one's from Monique. She said, I have two younger sisters, and we play this game when we were home alone around the ages of 11, 7, and 5. We each had a wooden spoon, and the size of the spoon corresponded with your age. The oldest got the biggest spoon, etc. I'm pretty sure we wore our initials on them. Anyways, we would put music on and then literally run around the house beating the shit out of each other with the spoons. <laughs> our parents had no idea we did this, and it's something we laugh about till this day. I hope this makes it on. My sister would shit her pants if she heard this. P.S. We saw you guys in San Francisco. Such a good show. You're oh, both period. Love That's that. so funny. Why? <laughs> Like, what's the genesis of that? Where, any, do, we, where do we any, begin? Any particular reason why? It's just the two of them? Mm-hmm. No, three of them. There's three, three sisters. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean beat the shit out of each other? Like, you're just hitting each other? Like, it's like one of those, like, what are those? Are they called like rec rooms or what do they call them where you go in and you like beat up a car with a bat and you throw <laughs> yeah. it all the car, but they're beating up each other? That's your guys' enrichment time. <laughs> <laughs> is he taking big spoons and hitting each other? I like how you guys are like, in all fairness, you are the oldest, so you can have the She is one. the oldest, too. So that's why she's like, I'm the oldest, biggest spoon. Was that your idea? It feels like it was an <laughs> oldest kid idea. She's like, as soon as my parents leave, I'm going to hit my sister with this spoon. I'm going to beat the shit out of you with the nearest <laughs> spoon that I have. I don't have. think we ever did stuff like that. No, like, I'm trying to think of, I mean, don't get me wrong. We did weird shit, but like. No, I mean, we've talked about it all yeah. on the podcast. They know that. I just mean, you're talking about hitting. Yeah. No, not particularly. Like, Dason used to have, um, who remembers those flip cameras? Do you guys remember flips? Is that what they were called? Yeah. yeah. But, like, they were, like, a little rectangle is a black one, and, and they were just camcorders. Mm-hmm. And then you could plug them into your computer it and upload footage. It had, like, a footage. USB stick in the side of it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we had multiple generations of them. And me and Dason would literally play music. Like we had like an iHome radio or whatever. Mm -hmm. And we put an iPod on there and then we would blast music and then we would just lip sync to it. (laughs) So that's why I feel about our friends on Good Children, the podcast. I think they're so fucking funny. They have so much video footage of them when they were younger. Yeah. Like they have a video going viral right now where... Well, because they're young, right? Yeah, but probably, yeah, if you're younger than us, yeah. like they're early 20s. Yeah. But there's a video footage where I can't tell if it's a skit or if they're being serious, but one of them's really good at playing the guitar. Yeah. I think it is a skit. And then they're siblings? No, they're just best friends. Oh, okay. And he's telling him, like, I don't know why you played the guitar so well at your audition. I wanted to be the main, the lead. And he was like, you think I want to be the lead? I want to be on the stage crew. I had no other choice but to play my heart out. <laughs> I mean, this whole he just thing. like me for real. No, literally, they remind me of us so much. They're so funny. But I wish we kept video footage or audio footage of just random it's things. It's somewhere in the garage of our parents' home. Like, they yeah. have, like, a, my dad has, like, a hard drive of all of our, like, home footage. Yeah. But, like, we would record hours of footage. Yeah. Like, we would just play Metro Station. <laughs> Kelsey. <laughs> Tell me what to do <laughs> by Metro Station. That's a good one. It's a great one. We would we would blast that and we would just lip sync all the words. Like we would do the whole song, like all two and a half minutes. And then we would start it. We would stop recording and then we would pick another song and then we would start over. Yeah. And we did it every time. Dude, you know what we used to do when we were little and our parents would leave the house? We would have super intense like tennis Wii tournaments, just the two of us. Oh, that's right. And we would almost fight almost every single time. We would move all the furniture out of yeah. the living room. Like, literally all of it. Like, we would pick the couch up and we would push, push it, it yeah. all the way against a really far wall. So we had, like, nothing but space. And you had to, like, grunt when you hit the tennis ball? Yeah, you, ball. Have to, you have to grunt like like an actual tennis player. Or it didn't count. Like, whatever point yeah, you Yeah, you'd be like, ah! Yeah. Like that. But we would scream and we'd be dripping mm-hmm. sweat. We would... Oh, girl, we would look insane. So... We like we did shit like that. There was one season where 
I remember like we found these bridesmaids dresses um, that my mom had stored somewhere. And like me and one of our friends uh, and Dason, we all put them on. And then I went through like a grease phase. I don't remember this at all. You don't remember this? I was watching Greece. They were the gold dresses. I think they were from. Yeah. I know what wedding that is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, And they had a lot of tool. You know what I mean? Like they're big on the bottom. And we all put them on. And I went through a big grease phase where I like watched the movie all the time and loved the soundtrack, learned all the lyrics, blah, Mm -hmm. blah, blah. And like that scene where they're in the dance and then they're doing all those crazy dances where they go through the legs. Yeah. Like dances with cha-cha. Yeah. We were like literally teaching ourselves how to do that <laughs> like swing and we could only do it with Mar- with marissa because yeah. she was the smallest it was just the three of us yeah. I, don't, I wonder who was the boy it was me bitch because <laughs> i was the tallest yeah no they always made me be the boy because that's gay. not true at all i'm gay that's not true at all it was always me because i've been the biggest it was you're right well and because i was like i'm not gonna play if i have to be the boy that too um well Dayson would always be I like I was so adhering to gender roles that's why <laughs> Dayson was so like I want to watch and and judge or some shit like yeah. that like real older sibling shit but uh yeah she would like we were like swinging through the legs that was like the same thing when we learned the bop to the top routine yeah you guys did that yeah I know and you judged mm-hmm. <laughs> I gave you all 10 out of 10 and once again and I was the boy I was fucking Ryan <laughs> I was Ryan Evans is what it is. I know. And you played your heart out. I'll give you that. Even when we were older, like in me, Dason did costumes together for Halloween. I was always the boy. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you wanted to do, uh, not couple. I want to call they, I mean, there are couples costumes, but you always wanted to do them. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to be the boy then. I'm either going to be a witch or I'm going to be the girl. Yeah. Head. No shit <laughs> for real. Literally. Yeah. We did Juno one year. Yeah. We did Juno. And then we did Peter and Pan. Bleaker, and then we did Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. Yeah. That was so silly. Why did we do that? I don't know. Because then we realized that we never want to be the same things. No. And we were like, what the fuck are we after doing? After Peter Pan, we were like, I don't want to do a couple costume with you. What the fuck am I doing? And you were like, same. I've hated all of them. Yeah. I liked the Juno one. That's, that's such a good costume. Okay. This next part is from Zach. He said, there was this one time when my brother and I were watching TV and I was sitting on the ottoman in front of the living room chair. For some reason, my brother decided to kick me directly in the chest I fell off onto the floor, and as soon as I hit the floor, I shit my pants. Honestly, an asshole thing for my brother to do, but we still laugh about it. Can you imagine being so, like, the the wind being taken out of your lungs so fast? He must have blew your heart out your fucking back if he hit you that hard. (laughs) Jesus Christ. What is it getting the wind knocked out of you? Maybe that's what happened. The wind got knocked out so hard he pooped. (laughs) I mean, I've never heard of that, but medical marvel i know that's insane have you ever had the wind knocked out of you yeah like when i was playing sports yeah yeah me too it doesn't feel great not at all it's kind of (laughs) scary yeah it's scary because it feels like it almost feels like you're drowning but you're not in water yeah which is horrible and then it's embarrassing the sound you make when you're trying to catch your breath yeah like the after effects of people going are you okay and you're going (laughs) that's the worst part i know the humiliation (laughs) (laughs) the worst part of anything when i was i think i i think i told this to you guys but again i'm a virgo so if i repeat a story sorry but when we went to the snow Mm -hmm. and i almost yeah recently like in november of last year and i got altitude sickness which i didn't realize but i had one drink Mm -hmm. and then i i was sitting in the sun it was hot Mm -hmm. dehydrated like, like why the fuck is it so hot at the mountain like what's the point of going to the snow i know so it's like it's not it's not our culture that's why that's why i'm I'm not supposed to be there yeah but like it's blazing fucking hot and i have all black on snow pants a long sleeve a beanie i have one drink altitude sickness sitting in the sun i almost passed out and like like literally i almost fainted like dramatically and i had to put my head between my knees to like keep myself from passing out but Right before that, I got recognized several times and so met a lot of f- people mm-hmm. and everyone was very nice. But I was literally thinking to myself, if I pass out, that's going to be so embarrassing yeah. because there are a lot of people here who know me. Mm-hmm. And so I, the only thing that kept me conscious was the humiliation. 
I feel like that. the fear of being humiliated. You're I was so real for that. <laughs> that was the only thing that kept me awake. And then she said that if anything happened to her, she wanted to be put in one of those, like, you know, they put people in like those big sleeping bags when they save them. Those on like mountains. sleds. Yeah. Like, yeah. and just go with it. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Just friends. Just friends. Yeah. yeah. When they save them on the ice and then he's all dusty and they drop him and he, but upside <laughs> yeah, he down. slips down the mountain. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, if I do pass out, strap me to one of those things and send me down the mountain and and with no supervision. It's okay. <laughs> like, it's just put me in God's hands. Yeah. Just send me down there. I don't give a fuck. Because I was just so, I would be so humiliated. If I pass out of him, I never would have recovered. Yeah. Emotionally. I feel that. And then like, when we were, we fi- I like finally like came to, came to literally I don't even remember most of being up there. I remember like going there, getting the drinks, sitting down the whole, I don't remember what we talked about. I don't remember what we were saying. Honestly, once you got sick, I stopped talking because I was scared because I thought you were going to throw up. (laughs) (laughs) Making it about herself. (laughs) I didn't say anything. Her emetophobia was immediately. I was like kind of buzzed to it. As soon as that happened, immediately sober. Yeah. Nothing will sober me up quite as fast as that i literally had to switch seats with jared so i could sit next to my mom mm-hmm. i know and no one was telling me what was wrong and billy said i don't know and then i was like i did tell him though i told him well i told him he said that to her but he knew what was wrong with me he just didn't want to scare her because <laughs> i did tell him i kind of feel like i have to throw up because mm-hmm. i felt so nauseous i felt it in the air it's like a spider sense okay <laughs> spider sense a spidey sense Okay. I had a feeling that a drug dog. Yeah. I told you I can walk in like the equalizer and see it. (laughs) Like a bomb sniffing dog. Oh, it's true. (laughs) He sniffed for weapons. Yeah. Okay. This next one's from Casey. She said, when I was 10, my older sister who was 16 got grounded for throwing a softball at my head. I was fine, but my dad was so pissed. So he said she couldn't go to the premiere of the Jonas Brothers 3D movie. Damn. The best part, the but, oh, sorry. She said the best part, the Jonas Brothers showed up at the theater and did a 30 minute acoustic set before the movie. She saw, sobbed alone in our shared bedroom for two days straight. I was kicked out and I had to go sleep on the couch. She's like, get the fuck out of here before I throw two softballs at your head. Actually, sit down. I have something I got to do. <laughs> and she's all, yeah. Oh, she's just <laughs> <laughs> she's like well i'm in it now that's one of my favorite jenna marbles videos is when they go softball pitching oh yeah oh my god it makes me laugh every time i watch it that's billy yeah that's so billy coded but a 30 minute acoustic set that sucks i'm sorry that damn happened. where where the fuck did you live in new york i i literally went to the, we went to the 3d movie i at, think at the urban spectrum yeah i think we went twice though like in theaters and then we just watched it on tv like we had the movie or whatever. Like rented it or something. Yeah, like the DVD. Yeah. But we literally like we went to the Irvine Spectrum and I like fully expected them to be there. Yeah. And we dress so silly. I know. <laughs> Should I insert a pic? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so bad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about it makes me cringe so hard. I know. We were all neon and like layered. Like, you know what's outfits. the worst part about that? Why? (laughs) Because we were in high school. I think I was a freshman, right? No, I was a freshman. You were in eighth grade. Yeah. You know what's the worst part about that? Why? I was five eight. (laughs) Too big. I was five eight when I was (laughs) thirteen. Too big. Like in the picture, can you see how fucking big I am? Like Uh, I think I have a picture of us next to the like the poster board of them on the plane. I have a picture of like the four of us just like lined up yeah with my we're not in the theater yet with my envy no 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 we're not in the theater yet mommy took the picture of us oh yeah yeah i'll have to dig for it i'll try if i can't find it no i think i have it okay and i and i blew that bitch up like saturation on 100 Mm -hmm. on picnic Mm -hmm. remember y'all remember i remember we were like so we went and saw the movie and then we walked around because i'm in high school and drew's in eighth grade so you know um, when that was like a thing, like your parents would drop you off at the mall and you could just walk around with, with no money, no money, <laughs> no money. My mom gave us money to go to the movies and that's it. Well, she gave us money for movies and like dinner. Yeah. But like not to shop. No. Yeah. I remember there was this guy doing like an acoustic set outside of Hot Topic. Oh, yeah. And I remember I followed him on MySpace and he followed me back or messaged me or something. And I remember thinking it was so cool because he was probably like 19 or something. <gasps> And now I think about it, and that's so weird because look Pedophile. what look what I'm wearing. I'm very much 
14. <laughs> so what are you doing? Oh. Yeah. Creep Town USA. I wish I remembered the name of the band, but I don't. It was like Polaris something, but it probably doesn't exist anymore. I would hope not. No. Yeah. Yuck. I remember that night, me and Dason, these two girls tried to come up and bullied us. Yeah. <laughs> and I, that was the first time I cussed at anybody. Yeah. She, well, they tried to bully my sister. Let me be specific. Yeah. They tried to bully my sister. Do you for, remember what she said? Yes, I do. <laughs> we're not going to say it because it's offensive, <laughs> to be honest with you. But they were trying to bully my sister and they were like laughing. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, what's so funny? And then they were like, just like looking at her, like, like I, I'm assuming they're referring to her reaction because Jason immediately got like nervous and was just like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Oh yeah. And then that was the first time I cussed at someone and I told her to fuck off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mind you, I'm five, eight. Remember like, like mm -hmm. everyone, like Jason was five, four at the time. She's still five, four now. Yeah. Um, and our two other friends were there and they were really short. Those two girls were short. Everybody was fucking short except me. And then I told them, fuck off. And then uh, they got scared and they left. And then uh, I thought we were going to fight. I thought we were going to get in like a fight. I mean, then I'll fight, but I'm better at fighting with my... We're not going to start a fight, yeah. but I'm saying like, I genuinely thought they were going to press me and I was going to have to fight. No, they were embarrassed when you said that. Yeah. And, and I'm hoping the picture's in here. I'm sure it is. But like, if it's not... It's just like the outfit you were wearing. Can you imagine beating someone's ass in that outfit? No, I know. That would have been so funny. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> and then I remember our uncle picked us up um, when we were done. And then when he picked us up, <laughs> we were like, <laughs> I told him, I was like, I have something to tell you. And he was like, what? And I was oh, like, I, I said a bad word tonight. <laughs> and he was like, you did. And I was like, yeah, but to be fair, like they came up and they were messing with Dason and then I, I told them to F off. <laughs> and then he was like, well, I'm proud of you for sticking up for your sister. I was like, OK. And I was like, are you going to tell my mom? And he was like, no. And I was like, period. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up telling my mom myself. As soon as we got home. As so soon as I got so home. So I was like, you have to tell her I will be forced to tell her what you did. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, that's not a joke. That is not a fucking joke, bitch. I can't lie. She, it's not a lie if you don't bring it up. <laughs> not saying something is a lie. That's what she told An us. An omission of truth is still a lie. <laughs> that's what she told us. That's, I, I, she literally told me, you have to tell her I will. <laughs> and I was like, I was defending you, bitch. You're oh. going to tell her. And I was defending you. And then she's like, my hands are tied. What do you want me to do? We're not supposed to say those words, so. Well, I appreciate what you did. We you have can't to be imagine the red tape around me right now. You can't imagine. <laughs> and I literally told my mom, and my mom was like, okay, well, I told you, like, you shouldn't be saying those things, but I'm proud of you. Yeah. And that was it. But, like, the fact that this bitch was like, I have to. Thanks, but I got to do what I got to do. <laughs> but you know what comes next. You know what I have to do. Dude. I was literally defending her, and this bitch was like, I'm a... At the end of the day, I'm a narc at heart. That's why I said her and Donovan are the only narcs in the sibling trio. I am not a narc and never have been. Yeah, that's true. I'm a writer. <laughs> she writes for <laughs> she us. She writes for us. <laughs> okay, this next one's from, I think it's Andrea. She said, when I was younger, my mom had a camcorder, so I was obsessed with making my own music videos. Same. So one day I decided to make a music video for Gasolina by Daddy Yankee. <laughs> so I set up my bike in my room and I set up my camera and I put the song on and got on my bike and started lip syncing Gasolina. Then my sister walks in and she walks right through my set. So I punched her in the face really quick and she ran out of my room crying. <laughs> <laughs> we also did a huge production for Akon's song Locked Up. My cousin uh, and siblings and me had a whole storyline about going to the club and then my sister and cousin fight and they get arrested and we start playing Locked Up as we walk them up damn, to the Damn, production house. value. She's like, I'm going to give you a story. A script. Take me on a journey. And she said, oh, and I was the director for that video, so you just hear me laughing the entire time while we're trying to record good times. The way that you punched your your sister in the face and then you're like, quiet on set. Thank you so much. This is a close set. So. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> She's like, on the bike. 
say diamond and gasolina. <laughs> you know what's funny is uh, that reminds me when we were kids, um, we were hanging out with our cousins. And do you guys remember Yahoo Music? Do you remember Yahoo Music? Boy, so do could, I. You could get all the latest songs, and but most especially watch the music videos. And I remember one time when we were with our cousins, we were on Yahoo Music mm -hmm. and we were we kept playing the song Shut Up by the Black Eyed Peas. Mm -hmm. And then we were like trying to dance off to it. In San Diego? Yeah. yeah. And we were doing dance offs to each other. Yeah, our older cousins. Well, our I older wasn't, cousins I wasn't like, doing it because I was too embarrassed, but it was you and our other cousin. Yeah. Yeah. It was me and our cousin Grace. Yeah. And we were we were doing a dance off against our older cousins and they were like in high school and I was like in middle school. Yeah. Not honestly young. Not even probably yeah. younger, but I was yeah. dancing my ass yeah. off. Bitch. Remember I told y'all when I was young, I was literally like, I'm like the best dancer. <laughs> like I was no training, <laughs> just blind confidence. I bet you couldn't tell. I bet you couldn't. Never had one lesson. <laughs> Never had one <laughs> while I'm dancing. Dude, I I was dancing so hard. I, was, I sweat through my shirt. Yeah. I was dancing so hard. <laughs> Sure. My then, mom, like, and then my cousins wanted me to be included, so I was the DJ. I would just start the song over. All yeah, the Dason would be like, again, Dason's the judge. Like, no, they, they wouldn't let me judge. I was just in charge of doing the music. That's true. So Dason kept starting it. the song over, but I forget why that was the song we kept listening to. It was that one in the Baby Boy you Sing Along. Yeah, the that's Sean right. Paul song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. The, I just that song, <laughs> Shut Up. I literally like when I hear it, I think about that. Yeah, mo that memory. And we were like dancing so hard against each other. I thought it was "Where Is the Love." I no, remember it that was. One. We it just was played it. Was yeah, that we, one, we played well, intermission, quick intermission. Well, it's because you, me, Grace, and Ty were all like messing around on the computer, and we yeah. kept playing like all of their discography. Mm -hmm. And then for some reason, we played that song, and then we were just like, "This song is good." Mm -hmm. And then we like moved the computer chair, and then we started mm -hmm. dancing. I remember. And then the kid, the older kids came in, and they were like, "What do you guys do?" And we're like, "Oh, we're just like listening to music." And then they were like, "Oh, you, oh, you got moves." Yeah. And then we started dancing. <laughs> dancing <each other. laughs> it's like just insane behavior. Yeah. And the adults were like outside, and my mom came in. And she was like, "What?" <laughs> she was like, hell have "Mommy, you I need to change my shirt." Yeah, I told her I was like, <laughs> I was like, my hair's like sticking to my neck. I'm like. Do we have any other clothes? And then my I mom need a costume like, change. My mom was like, "What have you been doing?" And then I was like, "Oh, we were dancing. <laughs> we're having a dance off in the house." <laughs> Dude, so funny. It was so fun. It was so fun. And of course, I'm too embarrassed to do anything in front of anyone. And so I remember I didn't want to. <laughs> yeah, That's not me. That's <laughs> my cousins are like making up jobs for me to be. Included. I'm like, I'm like doing the cabbage patch, and I'm like, never had one lesson. <laughs> Never one, not one lesson. I truly believe, like, you watch Step Up, the movie, and you're like, I'm Jenna Dewan. I, well, I didn't see Step Up until I was, like, in eighth grade. No. Or seventh grade. The first one? Yeah. The first one came out before then, no? Like, 2000. I think when you were in, like, fifth grade, I want to say the first Step Up came out. Oh, maybe. That's, like, two, what, 2005? The Step Up universe? What's your favorite Step Up? The first one. More than the second one? Yeah, because... I like Jenna Dewan more. No, the second one's the best one. Well, yeah. actually, you're right. The first I think I didn't like the second one because she pissed me off. Because she was the I girls she was such so, a pick me. Yeah, well, that and I always thought she was so mean to her mom. <laughs> <laughs> like, I fucking hate when kids are mean to their moms, and I feel like they're not deserving of being mean. I'm not kidding. Last night I watched an episode of Modern Family <laughs> where they drop Haley off at college. Yeah. And they embarrass her and she makes them leave early. And then they're driving home and they're like crying with each other because they're like sad because they feel like they didn't really get to say goodbye to her. The parents? Yeah. Okay. Like they're like, it's okay, right? And they're like, yeah. And then she calls them and then they're both like tearing up really bad. And they're like, well, we love you very much. Right. Mm -hmm. And then I was telling Billy, I was like, I hate how mean she was to them. Yeah. <laughs> because like the kids on the show are really mean to their parents. They are. And I fucking hate it. Yeah. And I get, I get it. Like, I don't get the dad. Cause he's just like silly and mm -hmm. whatever. I get why the mom, they like butt heads, but again, like the kids are so mean and bad. Yeah. So like, I get why she's <laughs> like that. Yeah. The but first yeah. step up did come out. Sorry to cut you off. The first step up did come out in 2006. So oh, okay. You're in like fifth grade. Anyways, I do feel yeah. like you saw that movie a few years after the dance off and you were like, that's me. Yeah. Yeah. Like I saw it and I was like, I'm, I literally did that in my cousin's living room, <laughs> like not even a year ago. <laughs> 
And I, I didn't like, go to Juilliard or anything. Not like I didn't need the school. <laughs> no like, formal training. So it like, just came look, to me. Some of us are just born with it. And I, that's not my fault. I, I'm i not kidding when I say like my confidence was so blind when I was a kid. It's still like that now. But like, I feel like I'm a little more self-aware. But when I was a kid, bitch, you couldn't tell me shit. You couldn't tell me anything. You know, that's me. That's literally, it's nice to see yourself represented on screen. <laughs> okay, this is the last one we're going to do. This one's from Teresa. She said, when I was a toddler, I would always ask my older sisters, who were also little kids at the time, to come with me when I had to poop so they could tell me scary stories while I took care of business. <laughs> so while my face is turning red trying to push, my sister's covering her nose and telling me scary stories. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Mm -hmm. That's a cute story. She's like, gotta poop. Guys, I need a story. I like how you gotta rally the troops before you go to the bathroom. Everyone gather around. Story time. Got to take care of some business. You used to do that too. Like I would come listen to it and you would pretend to, Drew didn't know how to no, read. No, this was different because I would, well, first of all, my mom like got me to potty train by letting me read on the toilet. Yeah. And so like, I don't know why that was the thing that helped Especially me. Especially because you didn't know how to read. So that too. <laughs> well, hold on. I'll come back to that. But I would make Jason come in the bathroom and watch me read her story no i know that's like you're the teacher i know that's what i'm saying <laughs> i'm saying that's different there's this reverse no like, i know but i'm saying you sh when you're like days it's time and you have yeah. a, you have a book tucked under your yeah. arm i'd be like dayson come yeah. here and then she'd come and, <laughs> and yeah, crisscross she applesauce right in front of you i'd make her sit in front of me and listen to me tell her a story that she can't read <laughs> she's holding up a book it's like an arthur book and she's holding it facing me like a teacher and making up a story. Yeah, like I would like hold it like this. Mm -hmm. And I would like point to you it. You would like lick your finger and turn their page. Yeah. <laughs> and Jason would be like. Because <laughs> if I didn't do it, Drew wouldn't be my friend. She told me that once. And I was a gaslighter from a very <laughs> early age. I, uh, my mom tells this story about how like Jason used to go to this book club um, at this like store. It was called <laughs> Zany, Zany Brainy. Brainy. Right which, next to. Pat and Oscars, Oscars period. And there was a lot of sentiment two episodes ago of people saying that they also miss Pat and Oscars. I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah, sometimes I feel like we made that restaurant up. Some listen, it feels like it. If I did, then my brain's too powerful because that's my dream restaurant. Like someone Caesar salad, it. pizza, only red sauce, pasta, breadsticks, breadsticks. And then a lemon, a lemon pepper wing. If you'd like rotisserie it. chicken. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe so many of you remember Pat yeah, Oscars. People remember it. I'm so fucking it's true. glad. And they used to have this like reading circle, and my mom would take Jason, but you had to be like three. Because that was four. a one. That was one. Yeah. Yeah. So you had to be like three um, or older. And I wasn't old enough. And that used to piss me off that Jason would get to do things that I couldn't because I can't control how old I am. And so. I always thought like if Dason can do it, then I should be allowed to do it too. It's been my whole life. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's what I I just was like. Well, ye, well, clearly I should be allowed in there too. And so, um, my mom said that she took Dason to her reading circle time or whatever, and Dason was like saying, and she said Dason was so shy, like it was so hard for her to well, get. Well, Drew wanted to go to make friends, and I didn't want to go. <laughs> that was the difference. And so. my mom wanted Dason to go so she could socialize with other yeah. kids, right? And um she like would not go unless my mom sat like almost directly behind her. So she could like <laughs> she'd keep being like making sure she's still there. Yeah. <laughs> so my mom would take me and I would get really mad that I couldn't sit in the circle. My mom was like, well, you could still read. Like she would give me books and like toys and like mm -hmm. entertain me. And then uh, my mom said she was sitting and watching Dason. And like, I was like sitting right next to her, like off to the side. And this older woman came up and I was reading a story and I was like, and then, right? Like I was literally telling you, like the, the swirly twirly <laughs> gumdrop force. <laughs> like I was literally talking like that. And then uh, I had a book in my lap and then uh, this lady walked by and she goes, wow. She goes, she's such a articulate reader for being so young. Cause I was only a year old. And then my mom goes, she looks at me and she goes, oh, she can't read. <laughs> she goes the lady goes she's not reading that story and my mom goes no she's making it up that's just her pretending she's looking at like the pictures and and like that's why it took her 20 minutes to read one page because she's making up a story about like every single thing that's happening <laughs> on the page 
It has nothing to do with the story. No, not at all. She, not and then close. she'd be like, this kid is ugly and no one likes him. But this girl, she yeah. is so <laughs> smart and <laughs> strong. And everyone was so jealous of her. I remember some of the books I would read today. So were like frog and toad. Y'all remember Dead frog and queer toad? Code, queer icons. <laughs> Uh, and Frog and Toad books, some of them were really long. Yeah. Like, just like the Amelia Bedelia books. Oh, those like, were fun. They were super long. Do you and guys so- remember Miss Piggle Wiggle? Of course I do. I'm asking the audience, not you, Miss idiot. Piggle- <laughs> <laughs> Miss Piggle Wiggle was one of our favorites that my mom would read us. Dude, kids. yeah. She would do accents. It was so funny. Yeah. We were, like, front row we were at like- a comedy show. <laughs> do it again, do it again, do it again. Uh, that's you guys to us now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm your Miss Piggle Wiggle. We're, I'm Miss Piggle and you're Wiggle. <laughs> um i would read those frog and toad books and like they're like 40 pages and i was shell silverstein is that the the poet yeah those are the poems yeah Yeah. and i would read them i don't know what they say and i was just like saying gibberish Mm -hmm. like like just nonsense but they're actual words like i could speak full sentences and everything by the time i was a year old Mm -hmm. it's just not the words which is which is kind of ominous a little bit (laughs) <laughs> with, how, with what how, especially with how you looked <laughs> you know what i mean it's kind of like the it's giving the orphan a little you know yeah i was like far advanced mentally as a baby my mom said i didn't even crawl my mom said i just stood up and started walking enough of this such yeah, she said, said she, she said, said knock it off yeah she, she said that i pulled myself to my feet and then i just started walking and she said her and our dad they were kind of scared He's like, it was honestly kind of scary. <laughs> I was like, really? She goes, yeah, because you just did it. And we were like, oh my God. Yay. <laughs> Celebrating me, but being like, mm. a little sketched out. It sounds like you. So been there, done that. Read on the toilet to my sister by force. I did force her to come and sit and listen to me. And I did it every single time. <laughs> And I'd be like, are you almost done? And she'd be like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> and the day she would be like, okay. My legs hurt. I want to stand up. I'm not done. I'm like, okay. uh, so I stand up and sit on the tub then. <laughs> <laughs> See? Sit on the chair. You're fine. You can stand up and sit on the chair. You're fine. And she'd be like, okay, go get me another book. I'm all, another book? <laughs> Bitch, get off the toilet. <laughs> and that's still true. Yeah. To this day. I know. That's my enrichment time when I get to go in the bathroom. It's sitting on the toilet. I don't sit in front of her anymore. No. But like just before this, I text her for my brother's phone. <laughs> Please get off the toilet. We need a film. I had to go to the bathroom. She was only in there for 10 minutes, which is yeah. a record. But that's when I went in there. I said, where is she? And Billy's in, in the bathroom. And I know. Like, and he made that face. I know. I heard you. And then you went. <sighs> and she walked out. And I timed it 10 minutes. And then I text you. Nice. <laughs> Me being bullied in my own home. Hey, as the head producer writer of, of this the here call establishment. The times changed a million times today, so <laughs> how was I to know? <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for this week's episode of Two Idiot Girls. Yes. If we got to meet you at VidCon, I'm sure we had so much fun. Oh, yeah, we're filming this from the past. Yeah, and we love you. If you didn't get to did meet us. Did you have Vid- fun with us? I hope you did. I hope so. And if you didn't get to meet us at VidCon, I hope you had fun doing something else, and that's okay. Yeah. Maybe watching this episode is really fun. I don't know. Who knows? Please be on the lookout on our Instagram to look for um, the next poll for whatever our next uh, topic ends up being. Haven't decided it yet, but you will see it on there. You're going to love it. I'm sure of it. <laughs> um, if you like this episode, you can stream all of our episodes everywhere you can listen to podcasts. And the video version is always on our YouTube channel. Yes. But other than that, we hope you have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.